Hey guys, Grendel here with Pathfinder. Um, I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to do this video. It's been like four intros. This is the fifth. Let's just do it. You ready? This is Pathfinder. When you log in for the first time, it's going to look a little different, but nonetheless, your second time is going to look like this. You get your options to log in, and it's great. So let's choose a character to log in on, and voila. Your second time logging in, once you create a map, you're going to be prompted with your map. But your first time ever logging in, you're going to be prompted with a map creation prompt. Super easy to do. We're just going to choose our map type, our scope, and name it. Name is, uh, doesn't matter. Yeah, choose an icon you like, and uh, scope I recommend leaving on wormholes. Unless for very rare circumstances, you want to track your gate jumps. But the scope is, is whether or not it auto populates systems based off you jumping through systems. So if you have it set to all or stargates, every stargate you jump through, it'll add it to the map, which gets a little annoying sometimes. I recommend just leaving it on wormholes. Now type is the first layer of sharing. You can either leave it private just for yourself and do sharing later in layer two, or you can set it to corporation or alliance. As the name implies, it either shares with your corporation alliance. It's a corporate map, so anyone in the corporation logs in, they will see that map there. So let's go ahead and set to corporation, the first way of sharing. I think it's great. Click save and boom, it's already created. And it's gonna look like this, all empty and lame. So this is our first map. It's very lame and plain Jane. First thing we can do is go ahead, drag the map down so it's bigger. <laughs> That's the first thing we're going to do. Then we're going to go to map and go ahead and enable grid snapping. I like grid snapping. That way when we have a system, rather than being free floating, it'll snap to the corner of the grids. Makes for cleaner, prettier maps. Now you've noticed there's a lot missing here. We get all of our information when we click into a system. Like the routes tab, structures tab, billboard, um, System information, which also has a little notepad, and the signatures tab. There is also a hidden connection. If we add a second system, that's all about the connection. So when you click the connection, it'll bring up the connection information. And this, uh, as long as everyone has Pathfinder open, it'll log all jump mass. It's not 100% accurate. Like, let's say you're in a roller and you're 200,000 tons cold. It doesn't know if you jumped cold or hot. So you can't account for all those uh, minute differences. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and go over sharing. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there's layer one of sharing, which is just choosing the correct map for the job. Aside from that, you might also want to share with your friends. So let's say this map was a private map. Let's go to settings. I can change this map, edit map, corporation to private. You'll see it gets a new little color to show that it's a private map. And on my sharing options, I no longer have to share with corporations, I share with characters. Now I want to share with my alt, Reese. I type in Reese and nothing comes up. I know Reese is real, but it's not coming up. Why is that? Pathfinder is very weird on the sharing aspect. So aside from layer one, which is super simple, you want it shared with the corporation? Cool, we'll share with the corporation. Layer two, which is specifically choosing people or corporations to link to, it gets a little finicky and the way we do this is let's go to my alt and we go to menu and then we go to account and go to share we have to enable map invite then we do save and now reese will come up and we can invite reese now my map doesn't matter is also on reese doesn't matter and this is the private map, so the only people on this map is me and my main. But if we go to settings, we will see that Reese has just as much power as the main that created it. So be careful with who you invite. Layer two of sharing is not the best on Pathfinder, I will say immediately, because of this. Rather than Arkmore, the map creator, being the map owner, they're kind of just equals. So I can kick Arkhamir off this map Dave. Now Archimere should no longer have access to it. Reload and it's gone. Layer 2 sharing is weird like that. I uh, All I can say is for layer 2 sharing, which is direct sharing with people who you're going to put into that filter, 
make sure it's people you trust and people you actually want to share with. If it's just some person who's trying to get on your map for a little bit, send them a screenshot. They don't need to be actually on there. So let's go ahead and start putting stuff in here using Pathfinder. Uh, what we're going to want to do is drag this down so we can actually see a map. And then we'll just add a system, an arbitrary system. Uh, let's add to Dixie. In case you didn't know, Dixie can have direct connects to JSpace. I have had a direct connect to Dixie before. That was kind of cool. Let's say uh, this system connects to this system. What can we use Pathfinder for? Well, when we click into a system, we get a bunch of other tabs. Now, the first tab we're going to see is the JITA tab right up here. Not the JITA tab, the routes tab. But it has this filled in JITA, which is working. We click on Dixie, it's working. It has a route to JITA. But when we click into the uh, the C2, that JITA tab no longer works. I don't know why, but the pre-placed in JITA is glitched out. What we got to do is just delete it, go to settings, and we just got to re-add it. We can do JITA, we can do RENS, let's do a MAR. I like to set to large, disable Thera and disable bubbled, and save. Now that routes tab is working from wormhole space. And if we go even deeper into wormhole space, let's say we had another wormhole, it'll still work even deeper. All right, in front of me, I got an EOL wormhole. Let's go ahead and jump it and bookmark it. Look at our map, we can see I am in this system. And as I jump this EOL hole, it's gonna populate a new system and automatically connect it for us. Let's go ahead and jump on in and wait for it to populate on Pathfinder. There, it pre-populated for us and it gave us the connection. It doesn't know the connection size itself. It just knows there is a connection there. So we can right click that connection, put large. The connection was also EOL, so we can right click it, do toggle EOL. And believe it or not, the connection was still stage one. So when it comes to mass status, we'll just leave as fresh. What I'm gonna do in game is select all the signatures by clicking control A, then clicking control C, going back to Pathfinder and pasting them in. Now everyone inside my group can just click Pathfinder, click this system, and they can see all the SIGs without going in there. If we look at the kill board, we can know that someone died in here about coming up on 14 hours ago, a while ago. <laughs> so the system's been pretty quiet for quite some time. Let's go ahead and jump on back and go populate some more holes. We'll go warp to A2. Now, if you notice, I'm using a bookmark schema to name my wormholes. Um, how you name your wormholes is up to you. There's many formats out there. Um, so in order to rename systems, if we go to the left screen, we can see that this system right here, that one was A3. So all I got to do is double tap the name. I can now adjust the name. I can put A3 in the front. And now it's named A3. Uh, now let's go ahead and jump into this wormhole. Seems to also be EOL. This one goes to Nullsec. And as we jump in, it's going to populate on Pathfinder here. There it is. We can right click, size to large because that's what it was. Right click and toggle EOL to show it was EOL. In game, we're going to copy all the signatures like always. And of course, put them back inside Pathfinder. Checking this kill board, a whole lot of activity. And this time, even longer ago, it is O2 currently. So it's been pretty dead in here for quite some time. Nonetheless, let's head on back and do a uh, deep dive into Pathfinder now that we have some map to work with. Looking at Pathfinder, this is your map. If you look bottom right hand corner of your map, you can resize it. We're going to start Pathfinder like this. I recommend you drag it down and make it bigger. Uh, top right hand corner of Pathfinder, we'll see map. And from here, we can do toggle, we can toggle grid snapping. I recommend this heavily. I also recommend region labeling. Region labeling is pretty nice, but it's optional. 
Now from here, what we can do is look around and see all our friends. If we're sharing a map with our friends, we will see where they're at. If my friend comes in and is inside this system, I will see their name just like I see my name currently. And when there's a bunch of people, when you hover the drop down, you will see all of them listed with all their ships. So it makes working with a group really easy to visualize and see. You can see why this is great for Poshfin space, though when you see your scout slowly jump out, you know exactly where they are and where they're going, and you can see where your group is, so it just really helps visualization. Uh, we can do a lot to a system by right-clicking it, so if you right-click, we can set status, and we can change colors. On the Poshfin map, I use the colors to dictate whether or not it was a Galente, Amarian, Kaldari type system, so that when you want to use a return filament, you can plan where you want to go home. For wormhole space, you typically want to stick to the standard system and use the colors for what they mean. Red being hostile, orange being occupied, and green being dead empty. I'm here in this system, it's pretty empty, so I'm going to mark it empty. And now it's going to get a green outline. Another thing we can do is set up the rally point, so right click, set rally point. I like to put people, so let's set it like that. And now it gets a cool color and gets its own route system. unset that and the last thing we can do really is lock the system locking it makes it so you can't accidentally drag it anywhere you can still rename it and what most people do when they live in a system is they rename it hub or home or something to signify that hey look we live here put that like so voila top right hand corner is going to be my favorite thing to use and probably for you broken right now it is the routes tab I made a short on how to fix it if it's broken, but what you need to do is just delete the given Jita by clicking the X and clicking delete. And then we're gonna to go to settings and put in all the systems we want again. For some reason, the auto-generated Jita is just glitchy and will not work. But once we fix that, we'll be able to map anywhere and see how to get to where we wanna go. We can see the nearest Jita path from this uh, null sec. It's gonna be through the wormhole into this low sec has, has a team into Harunin, which is connected by an XL wormhole, on the way to Jita. So that tab is super helpful with spatially awareing yourself in New Eden. The structures tab right here, also pretty useful, but uh, currently I don't have anything to show it off. In uh, A-Space systems, you will notice there are stations, which it'll show you, which is great, but above it is structures. This is where you can store any Citadel data you have. You can pull Citadel data from uh, copying your D-scan and pasting it in right here. As we scroll down, we're gonna get a bunch more tabs. Signature tab is extremely useful and I recommend using it. Any system we select will update with those signatures so long someone went in and updated it with a lazy delete. In the game, all I gotta do is click one, then click control A, control C, now I have copied all my signatures, I can go back to Pathfinder, click the system I'm in, and paste them in. If I click a system that I'm not in, and attempt to paste them in, it'll give me a warning. Oh, I'm not in that system, whoopsie doops. So make sure to pay attention to those warnings. Sometimes you know you mean to ignore them because you're pasting from a different tune or something, but uh, be warned. In the top right hand corner of the map, we can hover over EOL and we can see when a hole was marked EOL. This is great for uh, keeping track of systems when you visually watch a wormhole go EOL or you know about within 30 minutes that's gone EOL, you know you have about whatever your error in time of noticing, 4 hours minus your error in time, is how much time you have until that hole collapse. EOL holes will last 4 hours, so this timer just helps us keep track there. Uh, the other things here I have never used but they might be useful to you. Just hover. And this one right here lets you see anyone that's on the map. Remember, maps are only shared between corporations or alliances or anyone you invite to the map. And that's just about all about Pathfinder. I hope you can start using it. It's a great tool. It's free right now if you want to go use it. We're hosting it. We do plan on having a paid model where you can have an individual map for about 100 million esque a month or a corporate model where you play for your corporation and we handle all the hosting, we handle all the stuff. Reddit is hilarious if you have ever seen Reddit. I have never seen so much fear mongling amongst people in my life. Let's go and see 
or sphere mongling. So I announced that we started this public thing, but you could start using Pathfinder today. This guy who actually runs the uh, the current fork that we're using, a nice comment, but let's look down. <laughs> OSI and T <laughs> sounds like a great way to do research on JSpace Connection or just get access to other people's lives without putting in the effort. I want you to know, we do not have access to your shit. <laughs> I can see that you're using our service. We have a catalog of members. I can see that you created a map. We have a catalog, how many maps exist. We cannot access the data on your map. I have no idea what you're doing with your map. I think it's hilarious. People, there's just this ingrained fear with mapping stuff and Eve that people have. And yeah, as this person pointed out, it would destroy our developer token if we did anything bad with your guys's data we do not have access to it it's all encrypted on the database anyways like i, I don't under i, I kind of get i'm a wormholer i understand there's so much fear mongling that happens in wormhole space but no i don't care about you and your practice oh 50 jumps away from me i would never know you're fine man you're not being tracked by us. You're more likely to be tracked by the NSA than us. While I'm on this Reddit subpage, uh, one thing, what's highly recommended was Galaxy Finder. And I gotta say, that was dog water. Uh, so here's Galaxy Finder, we can log in. Are you logged in? Which one did I use? Let me just use Park Mirror. I, it's similar, yes, but then, oh my, it's gonna make me do all this stuff again. I'm not gonna even show it. Getting your character on there is a little bit of a pain. Once you're on there, it doesn't even recognize that your character exists and doesn't track you. Now you can't just right click on the map and add a system. I couldn't even find where to, I, I'm sorry. That was a horrible recommendation. This guy doesn't highly recommend shit. <laughs> that was a horrible, yeah, it's free and the dev is active on Discord. Yeah, there's a lot of free shit. I, I think I'm not alone when people say they don't like Galaxy Finder pretty horrible. Let's see, this person put tripwire above pathfinder above writing down your own map on crayons and mailing it to your court mates above galaxy finder. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel bad because I look at the galaxy finder project and I know someone has spent a lot of their time developing it and clearly still working on it, but I couldn't get it to work. And I don't think the UI looks good. And yeah, it's free, but there's a lot of other free things out there too. I mean, we're free right now and we're not the only one that's out there. One day we will have a paid model and there is other free services. So if we look up here, oh, there's another free one. So one day when we have our paid model, we're like, oh, fuck you, Gren. How dare you have a paid model? All you're gonna do is over here and you go free. How about that? 